In this video, you will learn what slope is and how to calculate it. Slope is the ratio of the vertical change to the corresponding horizontal change, or a way of measuring the steepness of a line. In order to calculate this slope, we use the ratio of the rise to the run, which we could rewrite as an equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now there's four different possibilities for slope. Positive slope means that as you move to the right on the graph, the y value increases, or it's rising from left to right. Negative slope means as you move to the right, the line goes down, or it's falling from left to right. A line with zero slope is a horizontal line, and the equation of that line is something where it's like y equals a number. Undefined slope is a vertical line where it would be an equation such as x equals a number. Now in order to calculate the slope from a graph, I have to figure out first what the rise is and what the run is. Now your rise is going to be the movement up and down. So if I would be moving up, it's positive, and if I'm moving down, it's negative. So to move from my left point to the right point, I'm moving up positive 3 units. The run is the movement horizontally. And if I'm moving to the right, it's positive, and if I'm moving to the left, it's negative. So in this case, I'm moving from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six units. Now I'm going to plug it into my slope formula. So your slope equals the rise, which is three, over the run, which is six. And finally, this can be simplified to one half. So your final answer is the slope is one half. In the next example, we're still going to have to figure out what the rise and the run are. Now if I start at my leftmost point, I'm first going to move up or down vertically. So I'm going to move from my first point down to the, the point on the right. Now I'm moving one, two, three, four units, and because I'm moving downwards, this is a negative four. Then I would have to move over one, two, three, four units to the right. And since it's to the right, it would be a positive movement. Now my slope, I'm going to plug it in again. So my rise is negative four, and my run is positive 4. And finally, I simplify this answer. So my slope is negative 4 divided by positive 4 gives me negative 1. In these examples, we are continuing to determine the slope of the line. Now in our first example, we have our two points. If we start with our bottom point here and move to the top, we are going up four units, so the rise equals four. However, we're not moving at all side to side, so the run is zero. Now when we substitute that into the slope formula, we have m equals four divided by zero, and if you type that into your calculator, it gives you an error message. That's because you can't divide a number by zero. It's not a valid calculation. So the way that we refer to this is that the slope is undefined. And that's the case for every vertical line or a line that goes straight up and down. For the other example we have here, now we have our two points. So if we go from left to right, our rise is zero because we're not moving up or down, and our run 
is that we'd be moving five units to the right. Now if we type that into your calculator, we'd have our slope is 0 divided by 5, and that gives us that the slope is 0. So whenever you have a vertical line, the slope is always undefined. In a horizontal line, the slope is always 0. Now in order to calculate the slope of a line given two points, you have to plug it into the slope formula. That is m, which is the slope, equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we had to choose from the original points what we're going to call them. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to call my first points x1 and y1, and the second set of points x2 and y2. Now I'm going to substitute this into the equation. So it's, I set it equal to, so it's y2, which is 4, minus y1, which is 7, over x2, which is negative 2, minus x1, which is negative 3. Now, if I simplify, this becomes 4 minus 7 gives me negative 3, and negative 2 minus a negative means I'm really doing negative 2 plus 3. This becomes negative 3 over positive 1. So my final answer is negative 3. In the second example, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to plug it into my original slope formula of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I have to first identify what I want to call my points. So my first coordinate is going to be x1, y1, and the second one is x2, y2. Now I'm going to plug it into the formula. So y2 is 1 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is negative 4 minus x1, which is 3. Now if I simplify, 1 minus 1 is 0, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7, so this becomes 0. So the slope of my line is 0. Now in this example, again, we are finding the slope through a pair of points. So for number 1, I'm going to call this point x1, y1, x2, y2. When you substitute into the slope formula, y2 minus y1 would be negative 8 minus negative 8 over x2 minus x1. So it's 5 minus 11. Now negative 8 minus negative 8 becomes negative 8 plus 8, and 5 minus 11 gives us 6. Now if we do negative 8 plus 8, that gives us 0. So there's 0 over 6. When you plug that into your calculator, you get that your slope is 0. For the other example, I'm going to call my points x1, y1, x2, y2. Now if I substitute into the slope formula, I get 0 minus 10 over 2 minus 2. Now when I do 0 minus 10, it gives you negative 10, and 2 minus 2 gives you 0. When you plug this into the calculator, you get the error message. Again, because you can't divide by 0, so that means that the slope is really undefined.